Hi, this is a comparison of iMedicare and Medicare.gov. Here I just, uh, I'm on Medicare.gov and I clicked on Find Health and Drug Plans to try to do a new search. Here I put in the zip code for this patient and then clicked Find Plans. Page is just taking a little bit to load. Now it'll ask for the county. For the zip code, click continue. You're probably very familiar with the website and the process, but just start this up to get an idea and then go into how iMedicare does it. Here, the subsidy question, in order to speed it up, I just chose original Medicare and I don't know, just to um, get the process moving even faster than it normally would. And now it takes us to where we start adding the drugs for this patient's drug list. Here we have the first drug is finasteride. I just start typing and it tries to autocomplete. Then I click find my drug. And that pulls a list of the drug uh, from which I can add finasteride and add some more options such as the refill quantity and day supply but while we keep this going in the background up the top left so let's look at what it this process is like on iMedicare here I will log in which you normally don't have to do once you've logged in once and then let's create a new patient by putting their name and zip code this is to keep track of patients and be able to easily with one tap go back and alternate between patients and easily save their information. The subsidy will choose none as before though it's much easier choice than on medicare.gov and here we can select their current pharmacy that they might be attending as well as the current plan that they're on so let's say the Humana Walmart plan in this case. Now let's go ahead and add their drug list by clicking add drugs and now after updating the drug list for the first time, we can type finasteride and it auto completes. And here we again can put the refill quantity and month supply and start building this drug list. As we select the drugs, we can add not only the refill quantity and month supply, but also the quantity per dose, frequency, and some additional instructions that you may want to keep track of for this patient. We also add the uh, refill start and end dates. This is to actually pull more accurate estimates of a patient's drug cost than Medicare.gov by taking into account exactly when a patient's refill starts and ends. I just have a few more drugs to add here to make it a realistic uh, patient drug list. As you see, we're just adding our fourth drug and we've already surpassed uh, the Medicare.gov plan finder on the top left. So add Crestor and that completes our drug list. So now we can look at the plans pulled up on the right sorted by total refill cost per year as well as premium and deductible. You can choose PDPs, Medicare Advantage or special needs plans. We have options of using the current patient's pharmacy or start today but let's tap some of these plans and compare them. Here you see the cost for each month by phase, gap phase, catastrophic as well as the cost for a drug within that month if you tap on it. Once you tap on a drug, you see detail about that formulary, such as quantity limits, step therapy, and various other tier details. And this is a graph to show you graphically when a patient enters the gap in catastrophic. And you can then print this or uh, email it to yourself or the patient with the same monthly costs and yearly cost and patient information so that the patient may go ahead and enroll. So we sent that email. And we are done with this comparison on iMedicare, whereas on Medicare.gov, at the same time as we're doing this, we continued it, and 
they, we just barely finished entering our drug list and now had trouble searching for the pharmacy. This is an example of how much faster it is to use iMedicare and how in just over three minutes we're able to do a very realistic plan comparison. So hope this helps and uh, thank you.